Water pollution is a major issue in today's world, and one way water can become polluted is through oil spills. Oil is an important resource used to fuel a variety of things in our modern world, but accidents can occur when it is being mined or transported. When an oil spill occurs, marine life and marine ecosystems are put in danger. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, or the EPA, there are various ways oil spills can harm marine life like fish, birds, and mammals. For example, oil can become trapped in a fish's gills, fish eggs can become contaminated, and fish can end up eating contaminated food. Oil can also cause fish to have heart and respiratory problems, reduce their growth, and cause reproductive problems. Other animals affected by oil spills include birds and mammals. The EPA mentions that oil can directly affect birds by getting stuck in their feathers, which causes them to lose their buoyancy as well as their ability to stay waterproof. Birds can also accidentally ingest oil when they try to clean themselves or by eating contaminated food. Similar to birds, mammals can be directly affected by ingesting toxic oil. Also, mammals with fur can lose the ability to stay warm if their fur becomes covered in oil. Earth's oceans have been subject to a number of oil spills in the past, including the, f the famous Exxon Valdez oil spill. According to R.T. Payne et al., the Exxon Valdez spill of 1989 occurred when the oil carrier Exxon Valdez hit Bly Reef in Prince William Sound, Alaska. This spill was the largest of its time, having released about 36,000 metric tons of crude oil. Immediately following the disaster, fishing in affected areas was prohibited, and booms were deployed to prevent contamination of salmon hatcheries. The world's supply of skimmers and boomers were used in the cleanup effort, as well as 1,500 boats for cleanup, assessment, and rescuing affected wildlife. 1,200 people were put together by Exxon to manually remove oil that washed up and soaked on the beaches it reached. Exxon spent millions of dollars in fines to pay cleanup workers as well as to pay compensations for those affected by the spill. Another spill to occur on a larger scale was the BP spill of 2010. According to the National Wildlife Federation, the BP spill released about 172 million gallons of oil, compared to Exxon Valdez's 10.8 million of gallons, and was caused by an oil well explosion. Because oil spills can lead to intense environmental and economic damage, it is important to have a plan to prevent future disasters and to deal with the ones that occur. As Ritchie states in Maritime Oil Spills, the events of oil spills typically lead to legal and political decisions, as well as the formation of local contingency plans. Governments recognize that oil spills are likely to keep occurring, so they create measures to act swiftly once their disaster strikes. Part of the response to an oil spill involves containing the spill, removing as much spilled oil as possible, and dispose disposing this collected oil. Contingency plans are regularly tested, and response staff members are trained to deal with certain aspects of a spill. After spills, contingency plans are modified in order to deal with future spills more efficiently. In conclusion, oil spills are man-made disasters that can have harmful effects on marine life such as fish, birds, and mammals. Events like the Exxon Valdez spill have led to the creation of contingency plans to prepare for future spills. Oil spills are a serious issue in today's world, and polluted water and beaches have yet to finish recovering from the effects of spills that occurred decades ago. It is the responsibility of humans to try to prevent future oil spills and to deal with the ones that have already happened, in order to ensure a brighter future for Earth and its inhabitants.